Here we are at our 1999 Regal 292 Commodore cabin cruiser for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters in North Lake, Tennessee. This is a three owner boat. The current slip is transferable if you would like to keep it right here where it's currently located. This one had two new engines installed in 2019 currently showing about eight engine hours it does have a four four and a half kw wester beak generator that's showing about 315 hours glass bottom paint was reportedly done by the previous owner would have been around 2013 or 2014 current owner has had it since 2015 and appears to have at least been in fresh water since about 2004 but it does have two brand new 5.0 Volvo inboard outboard engines installed in 2019 we do have a windless anchor remote spotlight and I'm told there is a bow cushion for the top side there you'll kind of see some snaps there is not a cockpit cover but as you can see we've got a Isinglass camper enclosure that's installed and in really good condition the swim platform was also installed in 2019 this extended swim platform I should point out and we've got a small gas Weber grill Weber gas grill that's included. It does have, uh, it is powered with dual 30 amp shore power hookups. We'll walk around this side one more time and then we'll head on into the cabin. So it is a windless anchor, remote spotlight. There's your fresh water tank fill, bow hatch there. And then you can see those snaps just, just uh, behind that bow hatch would be where that top side cushion would go. be a fender holder here that would be your dockside water hookup this one is winterized at the moment but we can make any of our inventory available oh I also should point out that is the part of the uh, cockpit carpeting that I've removed so I can show you the engine hatch more easily backing is starting to wear off of that And very nifty little um, rear seat installed. We've got a little transom door, hot and cold transom shower. Got some nice LED lighting's been added around the, the radar arch here. Got a cockpit sink, some storage just under it. There's the rest of that laying carpeting for your cockpit here. We've got storage underneath these cockpit seats which is you don't always have I really like that now this little uh, bench seat here this just slides right back in place oops start to say I can do it with one hand Let me raise this up now this will slide in there and then when you close these legs that actually closes the latch that kind of secures this in place right like that and that backing just folds right there um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the engine room now while we're here and that's why I have that carpet carpeting out and we've got a little holder right there now this this other panel that I'm standing on and this is also going to be an insert for a, a cockpit table uh, this panel will also come out as well as a third panel right here Again, the Volvo Penta 5.0 carbureted V8, small block V8 engines. Now we've got a six gallon dual source hot water heater. Dual source means that will pull from the engine water to make hot water. So you do not have to be connected to uh, shore power or you do not have to have your generator running to make hot water as long as you're running the starboard engine. 
Get uh, two batteries here. Um, that would be about a 73, oh, I'm sorry, I think that's the 76 gallon fuel tank. And then here is that four and a half KW Westerbeek generator. Again, 315 hours showing on it. A small little uh, engine compartment heater. Here's your third third battery over here, and that would be the 73 gallon fuel tank. So you got a 73 and a 76 gallon fuel tank. You got a Halon fire extinguisher system there. That's an automatic fire suppression system, and then a waste holding tank just behind that. So again, there's our twin small block V8 Volvo Volvo engines. Uh, those outdrives would have been serviced when the engines were installed in uh, 2019. So this one is relatively ready to go, except for uh, except for probably could uh, could use some bottom paint. Go ahead and lower this hatch down. You can see we've got some some blue LED cockpit lights that have been installed and now let's head on up to your to your helm area now we have we've got a small little mat book here uh, that is not staying with the boat I believe they use that as a chart plotter we've got a newer standard Tarazin VHF radio uh, we have function tested that as well as your, here's your remote spotlight control function tested that as well your trim tabs appear to be operational as well as well as your horn uh, tilt trim and the outdrive all all tested fine as well and i've got i've got our engine room lights on actually and go ahead and turn that off uh cockpit lights and your panel lights on uh function test the bilges and the windlass as well as well as that wiper all of that appears to be functioning just fine we've got a hummingbird depth finder integrated compass we've got a rudder angle indicator gauge uh i'm sorry rudder angle indicators right here actually been added to your steering wheel um, and then this is a uh, engine synchronizer gauge that, that kind of keeps you from having to take your eyes back and forth to either RPM gauge on the port and the starboard side and you just use that one center gauge for a point of reference to know which engine is running faster or slower than the other speedometer. Then over here we've got your uh, drive trim, engine oil pressure, engine water temp, battery bolts, and your fuel gauges. You basically got those those here in pairs. Uh, one for your port, one for your starboard engine. Here's your Halon. Halon uh, fire suppression indicator light. And then uh, this seat, this is a nice, comfy captain seat. And it also has a little bit of a, of a raised bolster seat to it. So on a boat this size, that will come in handy when you're trying to get a view over, over top of your steering wheel. Just folds right back flat just like that we also have a walk through uh, walk through windshield it leads you up to uh, your windless anchor remote spotlight your bow hatch and again we've got storage integrated into that we've got uh, a dual AM FM CD USB auxiliary and Bluetooth stereo with four speakers we got two speakers up here in the cockpit two more down in the cabin there's your cockpit speakers there All right, let's head on down to the cabin of this one. This would be a good time to point out uh, for the uh, current asking price, full list of specifications on this one. I invite you to our website. We won't mention those in the video tours because they'll often change until a listing is sold. Our website is very easy to navigate, I promise you. Um, easy to find. We're mostly going to be looking at boats here in the East Tennessee area. That is www.yournewboat.com. Open up a new tab or a uh, window and just type in yournewboat.com, hit enter. Once that loads, you'll, you'll notice um, the orange lettering. It's a good indicator you're at the right place. And if you just click the find your new boat button, that'll show all of our inventory and order of price. And all you gotta do is scroll down until you get to the 1999 Regal 292 Commodore. You see the asking price right there. And then of course you'll be able to click into the specs for a uh, full list of uh, details. Our contact information will be all over there. You can reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever's easier for you. So here's your little um, galley. We've got a, a nice deep stainless steel sink, um, an integrated GE microwave. We've got a princess, two burner, electric range top, 
And then we've got a Norcold 12 volt or electric refrigerator just below that. And then that nice little filler to give you more counter surface. We've got a little integrated waste basket just below your sink here. Two dresser drawers just below your V-berth. And we've got some extra memory foam that's been added uh, to both of your, uh, your V-berth and the mid cabin. Uh, just to kind of give you a, a reference point. Um, it's, it's right underneath this. This is a nice thick, um, what, what is that, maybe about a three inch memory foam that's, that's underneath your factory. Uh, V-Birth cushion, so I want to point that out. We've got a 19-inch LCD flat-screen television, as well as a DVD player included. And again, about all the lighting has been converted to 12-volt lighting. We've got a bow hatch up here. There's a screen for that. Um, your two uh, cabin speakers are just behind your uh, your bedding here. you got two kicker speakers, one in, one in either side. Next to those windows, got an integrated um, carbon monoxide detector as well. And then your dinette, there's a filler cushion for the dinette. Um, the current owners have that stored at their house. So I do, do not have photos of that, but basically this dinette table would lay down, the filler cushion would, filler cushion would lay in place, and then that's gonna make an extra sleeping space. We've also got um, reverse cycle is a cruise air reverse cycle heat and air conditioning unit right underneath this seat you'll have the uh, the return uh, air vent just right there and that is a 12,000 BTU again that's a reverse cycle so that will make hot and cold air and you've got a couple vents located throughout here's that uh, dual AM FM CD USB auxiliary Bluetooth input stereo there's your um, uh, heat and air controls just above it. You got a fresh water um, tank level gauge and then a 12 volt outlet is uh, right here. You've got a remote start for your generator right here at this panel. And then you can also transfer over from shore power to generator power. You basically have a, a 110 side of a panel and, and also a 12 volt side or a DC and an AC side to the panels. Now here's your mid cabin sleeping berth. And then you've got your battery switches located just behind that. Now, I also should point out that this can be turned into a small sitting area uh, with or without a, uh, a table. Uh, this has all the filler cushions laid in place right now. And there's also about a, um, um, probably about an inch and a half to two inch thick um, bit, uh, piece of memory foam that's been added uh, to your, to basically just your factory uh, filler cushions. So that's all, all back here as well. And uh, we've just left it as, as a bed area. But again, this can be turned into a small seating area. And when you do that, you're, you're actually, I believe, you're gonna have cushions kind of covering up this area where you see some carpeting right underneath the seat back. That'll all be your uh, seat backs for the small sitting area. There's your, uh, your triple battery switches. You got a small hanging locker just behind where those pillows are located. Um, and again, this is the mid cabin. Uh, this is going to be your third sleeping berth if you're counting the, uh, the dinette, and that's probably the larger of the three. Now here's our uh, head compartment. We've got a vacuum flush head on this. This is uh, probably the preferred um, head for any cruisers, the vacuum flush system. That's going to keep that basically primed, and, and you, all you got to do to flush that is put your foot on that little lever. Um, you can also add some water to it by raising the lever up and a small little integrated sink that will convert to a shower. You simply raise that, that faucet up to that hook there and then you got a drain in the floor. That little heater is just stored in here. And you got uh, two 110 power outlets in there as well. You've got, uh, because this does double as a shower, you got a small little um, shower curtains that would cover cover that window as well as that cabin door.
That's a good size. Good size headroom in that head compartment. It's really a good size. Good size little express cruiser. Do, again, you have the three sleeping berths, so you can sleep uh, between four and six people in here, depending on the size of those six individuals. And then I also should point out that you've got tracks where curtains would have originally been on this boat. Those have just been taken off uh, for, for personal preference or for aesthetics. Those could easily be um, basically reinstalled if you if you wanted to, to create those privacy curtains. Some, some people will just take those out because they kind of get in the way. And the same back there for the for the mid cabin. You got a track right right there where a curtain could get pulled across. All right. Come back out. I'll do one more walk around. I need to point out a few areas of wear here before our video ends. And again, I'll invite you to the website for the current asking price. Contact us with questions or submit an offer. Looks like this was. Um, Possibly repaired um, or, or just glued together because it was separating. Uh, we've got a little bit of stains in this seat here. Uh, have, we have not used any clean on that. A little bit of mildew showing on this seat back. And then we've got a good tear right, right here on that corner. Again, storage in there. Small little anchor in there. Um, and, and you've also got that windless anchor up in the front. I believe I showed you your uh, hot and cold transom shower. Let's do another walk around the exterior here real quick. And then again, we'll uh, invite you to the website for any additional questions. I'll point it out here. This is your uh, your dockside water hookup. Your gas fills over there as well. We've got a little bit of wear right over here in this corner I want to show you. Let you get up and close and personal with. And then we'll do two walks down the exterior and get up close. Uh, this is basically just a piece of trim, and it looks like they've attempted to kind of caulk that seam there. And uh, we've got a little bit of wear. Nothing major on this boat, but we do have a little bit of wear around your rub rail here. There's a few marks that we've noticed here and there. We'll show photos of that at the website, too. Really, really nothing significant, but I want to point that out to you. A few more to show you here to be in part two of the videos, if you stick with us here.